So John, your cup champions, could you have imagined this before the season started? Yes. Yeah, look at them and look at that. Look, look at that. This has been going on for about a year and a half, two years. We started building this four years ago and a good, good friend of mine once said, "What? Like the end of it, this isn't the end by the way, but the end of your year should always be the best. We're not done yet by the way. We've got five or six games left to go. But to be champions, shit man, that's amazing. Oh. <laughs> No, no, no. Thank you. No, no problem. Uh, you got milk thrown all over your suit in the celebration. Yeah. I, I, the Cultermen were so good to give me a suit. The club were so good to sponsor it. I think this is what the players think of me, huh? Do you, do you care? Nope. Couldn't give a shit. A uh, damn. <laughs> nah. You know what? Uh, there's all the dry cleaners, but there's, you can't you can't dry clean memories like that. It's unbelievable. How does it just how does it feel to be cup champions? I don't know. I've, I've won a couple of cups, uh, you know, as a, as a player and a coach. But this is special. We we said this yesterday when we did the interview for a couple of other guys that um, there's something in the air. Maybe it's maybe it's 2,000 Vikinger fans. I don't know. But uh, there's something special at this club. The men have it. We have it. Um, the boards have it. And fuck, man, I don't know. It's just amazing. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, some people talked about David versus Goliath. You said I it. Said you, that you said that. Yeah. David was a seven to one underdog, right, against Goliath. Muhammad Ali was a seven to one underdog against George Foreman. But to be an overachiever, you have to first be an overbeliever. You never underestimate the power you give things, people, by believing in them. And then you never underestimate the power you give yourself by believing in you. That's what we do at this club. Look what happens. It didn't feel like David versus Goliath. You. you you were controlling the match, you were the better team on the pitch. Bray the Blick are a huge club. They're a huge club. And we love Aussie is a very good friend of mine. We have nothing but respect for them. They're bigger at the moment than we are. But if size mattered, the elephant would be the king of the jungle. <laughs> How does it feel to get the, this kind of support from the, the, the fans in the, in the stands? More than I am, so it feels absolutely unbelievable. The Bray the Blick fans were terrific as well. They were absolutely incredible. That was one of the best games I've ever been a part of, only because it was two great teams and two great sets of supporters. Do you feel like it's a huge moment for women's football? It's yes. A I think that was a, an advertisement for the women's game. It was football, there was passion, there was aggression, there was tactical organisation, there was supporters, and nobody is going to leave this place disappointed. Bredeblick obviously didn't win the game, but their fans have to be proud of them. Those girls absolutely fought from the first minute to the, set, to the last minute. There was no quit. And you, I tell you what, Icelandic football is in good hands if that's the way it's going. How are you going to celebrate it tonight? Yeah, Kanski have it to a Kaltan, Kanski have it to a Guinness, or Kanski have it to a Mamma Min, because who knows about it So, hey, what are we here? That's the Mamma Min. For the rest of the season, you, you've had a great season for an unbelievable season. Yeah. Uh, I think your contract's running out at the end of the season. Are you starting to think, of, think about that? Um, not really, no. You know, it's, it's something I don't think about. Um, I'm contracted here to do a job and hopefully I'm doing it. Um, people know how much I love this place. People know how much I love football. So I think the last thing on anybody in this, uh, in this Stuka's mind is my bloody contract. So that's the last thing. It's definitely the last thing on my mind. At a moment like this, can you imagine leaving this club? Oh, Jesus Christ. What are you talking about leaving the club for? We just won a fucking cup. Jesus Christ, man. It's, it's unbelievable. You know? How could you leave that? This is amazing. Um, oh, Jesus almighty. Um, hopefully I've had something to do with building it since we turned from Haukau Vikinger to Vikinger, so never know. As we always say, and we kind of finish it on this now, Aldre say Aldre as regards what we can, what we can achieve next. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> Thank you, John. Good luck. <laughs>